Wow. Nee. Aber geil, wenn wir morgen hier sind, dann sehen wir den Crawdive vielleicht zurück da. Hm. Das ist das, die, das Ei da hinten. Das ist ja auch ein Ei. Das sehen wir auch ja, wenn das Ding startet. Hm. We're not flopping today. Looking over here on your right side, you'll notice the fencing is curved outward. This is alligator fencing. If the fence were straight up and down, an alligator would be able to climb up and topple over it. So we curve this fence to use gravity to keep the alligators on this side of the fence away from the launch pad. Now we're going to drive around the Pad Tech office building. Inside our Pad Tech office building, there's a time clock. And right beside the time clock, there's a bullet board with a warning to all of our workers out here. Now when you clock out at the end of your shift, it's a really good idea to look underneath your truck or car. Because sometimes, particularly in the spring, summer, and fall, you can see an alligator underneath one of the vehicles. <laughs> We're on the bank right here. We've got a turtle over here, two alligators, two small alligators on this side. But if you come out at the end of your shift and find an alligator underneath your vehicle, it adds a whole new degree of excitement about getting off work. Directly across from us right now is a water tower, a water tank. That has a 400,000 gallon capacity fresh water tank. Now about 16 seconds before main engine start, they release the water from this. It goes across the mobile launch platform, the water gushes down through the exhaust holes in the plane trench. Before I began working here, I just assumed they used the water to cool the launch pad. Well, that's secondary. The primary purpose is sound suppression. When we launch the shuttle, it's so noisy and so loud that we're using water as a sound shock absorber. If we would launch the shuttle without water, we could shatter windows maybe as far away as 17 miles. And my house is 14 miles from here. So I'm really glad they used the water. But we use it water to cushion that sound shockwave. It actually reduces the decibel level from about one, from the 180s down to about 140 which is still loud, but it's manageable. That also explains why when you see a shuttle launch, you see all of this steam. You think it's smoke, it's steam. 
400,000 gallons of fresh water, mixing with 6,000 degrees of rocket fuel. The shuttle launches like a rocket, orbits the Earth like a spaceship, it lands as a...